Hello and welcome to our channel. My name is Caitlin and in this video I will be showing you how to make and use royal icing transfers on sugar cookies. Let us know in the comments what method you like to use for making royal icing transfers. This technique is great for planning ahead as the transfers can be made several weeks or months in advance. Transfers can be made by using a piece of parchment over your desired image or shape or you can use design sheets that have already been made up. For these cookies, I chose to use the design on the cookie cutter packaging as my template. Once your transfers are made, store them in an airtight container or use them right away. Continue watching this video to learn how we made our royal icing transfers. Let's get started. I am going to start by making the layons for the grill cookie. Place a piece of parchment on top of the grill cookie cutter design. Then, using soft peak royal icing, pipe the hamburgers, hot dogs, and bottles. Allow these to set up at room temperature for 4 to 5 hours or 20 to 30 minutes in a dehydrator. To decorate the grill cookie, use an edible marker to outline each section. Use gray flood consistency royal icing to outline each section on the cookie. Allow the outline to set up at room temperature for five to 10 minutes. Once the outline has dried, flood one door section, the side table sections, and the top of the grill. Use a scribe tool to help move the frosting into the corners and pop any air bubbles. Set this cookie aside to dry at room temperature for 20 minutes or in a dehydrator for five to 10 minutes. Now that those sections are dry, flood the second door with gray flood icing. Using black flood icing, fill in the grill section. Then with dark gray icing, pipe diagonal lines while the black is still wet. 
flood the remaining space on the grill lid with dark gray flood icing and the small section with light gray flood icing. Set aside to dry for 20 minutes at room temperature or 5 to 10 minutes in a dehydrator. Once the layons are dry, use a black edible marker to add the grill markings. Use a scribe tool to remove the pieces from the parchment. Pipe a small amount of royal icing on the grill section and attach the hamburgers and hot dogs using tweezers. Using dark gray soft peak icing, pipe a spatula on either side of the grill as well as the door handles and grill knobs. Attach the bottles to the grill side tables. To decorate the grill master plaque, set up the background and parchment like before. Pipe the hamburgers and hot dogs on the parchment and allow them to set up for 5-6 to six hours at room temperature or 20-30 to 30 minutes in a dehydrator. Outline the grill master plaque using white flood consistency royal icing. Set this cookie aside to dry for 5 to 10 minutes at room temperature. Once the outline is dry, flood the cookie and use a scribe tool to smooth the icing. Allow this cookie to set up at room temperature for 30 to 45 minutes or in a dehydrator for 10 to 15 minutes. Once the layons are dry, use a black edible marker to add the grill markings. Attach these layons to the cookie using a small amount of white icing. Using black soft peak icing, pipe grill master on the cookie. For this step, you can freehand write or use a projector or another method for transferring lettering to a cookie. Set this cookie aside to dry at room temperature for 20 to 30 minutes or 5 to 10 minutes in a dehydrator. Once these cookies are finished, allow them to dry overnight before packaging them. Thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing and turning on the notifications. Your support will help us grow our channel and create more videos. Let us know in the comments if you have any tips or tricks when it comes to creating royal icing transfers. If you would like to see more videos like this one, check out our Royal Icing Decorated Sugar Cookies playlist on our channel. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram to stay updated on our newest products and be sure to check out our stories for upcoming projects. Our social media links can be found in the description box below. We love to see how you use products from our store, so be sure to tag us in your posts. Thank you again for watching, and I will see you in the next video.